Hey guys, welcome to the 114th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to delete XML nodes. So basically, I'm just going to be showing you how to delete this whole person entry just by their name. So if you're to type in Bob in this text box, it'll just delete this entire person entry for Bob. So for this tutorial, you're obviously going to need to have an XML document with multiple people in it. And you're going to need to have a button, a label, and a text box to enter the person's name that you want to delete. So once you have all that on your form, just go ahead and double click on your delete person button. Um, under that, just create a new XML document and load that document that we created a few tutorials back with all the people in it. First thing that we're going to want to do is loop through each node and check to see if um, the name of the person is the name that the user enters in the text box. And if it is, then we're going to be deleting that node. So we're just going to provide the path right here to the um, uh, to the person nodes, and then we're just going to want to loop through each one of those, and we're going to say if the name of the person um, select the uh, name node. So if the name of that person is in your text, so just basically inside of here. If that is text box one's text or the name of the user enters in the text box, then we just want to remove that node. So we're just going to do x node dot uh, remove all, and the remove all method will only just remove all of the children of this person node. It won't actually remove this person node. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But before we move on to that, or before we even do anything, we're going to have to save it so that it saves all the changes that we've made. So we're just going to do xdoc dot uh, save, and then we're just going to want to save it to the path that, that we read it from. So put that in there. Alright, so it should just go through every node and check to see if the name is the name that we enter in this text box. And if it is, it'll just remove basically all this, not the actual person though. So we're just going to type in Adam right here, and it should remove Adam. Delete person, go back to this, it's updated. As we can see, yeah, it just removed the stuff inside of the entry. It didn't actually remove that person. So what we're going to have to do, and I'll just delete this here, and then add another one of these. So call it Adam. Yes. All right, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do we're going to go to the parent of it, so the parent node, and that will just go to um, this people, and then we're going to want to do dot remove child, and then we're just going to put the node we want to remove, and that would be this x node right here. So we just want to remove this x node. So it will check to see if the node's text or if the name of that node is Adam, and and if it is, it will just go to the parent node and then select a child of that. So it'll basically just go to this person node and then it will select the person that has the name Adam or the name that whatever we select in that text box and I'll just remove that entire node this time. So now I'm going to debug here, type in someone's name, let's type in Adam again, delete the person, then we go back to Notepad++, it updated, and yep, it just removed the entire entry. You don't have to just get it by name. So if you wanted to get it by age or like email or something, we could just change this to age. Like these are all the same. Age. Yeah, these are both 34. So let's change this to like 12 or something. All right. So now if we type in like 12 right here, it should remove uh, this Tim one because he's 12. Hit the lead person. Go back to this, and yep, they removed the Tim one. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on removing nodes, so see you guys.